So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the active track with the Mavic Air. Now the Mavic Air has got three sensors, rear, front and underneath. Now when we in the active track, you've got three different sort of modes and I'll be showing you two of them because I think two of them are pretty good. The spot one, I don't think it's much point because it doesn't actually follow you. It actually keeps you in frame. Whereas the other two, um, the trace and the profile, especially the profile because the profile will do a side on. So that's where you're going to have to be careful and make sure you're in a nice open area, no obstructions. Whereas the other one, that's not so bad. It hooks on to you. Anyway, as always with these sort of <laughs> modes, you've got to have the drone up in the air. So let's get that drone up in the air. Oh yeah, here's the controller. Um, and don't forget, you'll be using the DJI GO 4 app for this process. So like I said before, you're going to need the DJI GO 4 app. So I'll just put it on there. We can, yep. So it's already going in straight into the device. It's saying go fly. Um, we ignore that because I've already updated that when I was back at home. That's another good thing. Before you go out, guys, just check the updates. I mean, there shouldn't be any updates now. Um, it's been, been out for quite a while now. It's always worth checking out the app just to make sure that that's up to date, but I wouldn't have thought that they've changed that anyway. Okay, we've got the aircraft status. Right, it's saying that the compass needs to be calibrated. So that's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Can't skip it. It won't let me do it. So what we do, uh, calibrate. Okay, so what I'll do first, I'm just going to turn the drone around 360 degrees with my dodgy leg full foot off the ground okay and now I'll do the same again with it vertical okay it's ready to go <laughs> so I'm going to put on the video so the video is on okay let's take off okay this is gonna put the drone up a little bit more and i'm gonna I'm just gonna send it out a little bit it's a bit noisy this drone i must say considering uh, the latest drones okay i'm just gonna bring it back on me all right that'll do it let's bring it up a little bit more okay so there i am you can see me sat down chatting to you guys all right so the first thing you do you go into the intelligent mode which is that one in the middle you see the active track what i'm going to do in this one at the moment is just telling you what ones to go i'm going to do the profile first because i want to try out something else that i'm doing in a, another video so i'm going to put it on profile that's okay now at the moment it's hooked onto the car i'm so i'm going to set myself up I'll draw a box around me. And that's virtually it, guys. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try out a couple of things. I just want to have the control in my hand. got my dog following me what i do now i'm going to put the control because obviously it's following me and not the controller so i'm just going to put the controller there
So I'm just walking about. <laughs> a lot of walking about. Okay, that's pretty good. Now to come out with the profile, just coming back to the video there. <laughs> okay, so to come out of it, you just press the red cross, that's it. So we go back into the active track. And what I'll do now, I'm gonna put on the trace now. So you see the symbol to the left there. If I go over to the trace, now I've been told with the trace, it doesn't really like you being in front of it. It prefers you to be the back. So I'm gonna give it two, two goes and see what happens. Somebody said to me, it seems to go left to right. Now here it doesn't matter because there's nothing about. But if I was in the wood in that, um, I'd be a bit concerned. It says it's better from the back, but I'm gonna do it from the front for the moment. I'm just gonna, Put this down again okay i'm just going to press the go okay so the goes on okay so already internal it ain't done nothing <laughs> now i think it ain't done nothing is it tracking subject okay. lost for some reason, it's it's lost me. Yeah, it's lost me. Well, that that wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> All right, let's do it again. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it from the back. Okay. They did say if you have the drone from the behind you. Okay, I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, it's... Okay. Right, my SD card's fooled up now for some reason. Okay. So, this is, I'm just going to give it a go from the back. See how it is. Looks like it's following me. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna hook onto the chair. All right, no, it's still following me. I can hear it. Now, I wish that I could run, but I can't. So, there you are. I think uh, the parallel worked better for me, personally. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stop it, land the drone, and we have a quick chit chat. Just come out of that, come out of that, come out of that. My final thoughts on the Mavic Air. Now, I'll be honest, guys, for a 2008 model, I am pretty amazed with it. Um, okay, so there's different, there's, in the active track, you've got three different modes. Uh, you've got the trace, parallel, and spot. Now, I didn't try the spot, mainly because I don't really see the point of it myself. All it does, it hooks onto you, but the drone will stay there. So I think it's 
more like um, a camera shot where you just disappear into the distance and the, the, but the drone is hooked onto you um, but other than that parallel no problem works straight away because um, don't forget guys on this app it actually follows you or whatever you track it on now i think you obviously the car i don't think it would work on bonnie because bonnie's too small but a, a human and a car no problem now when i put it onto trace i had a few problems in that now i did see checking other videos i don't know why it, why it is with that it rather hooks onto the behind you more than at the front Somebody did say if he did have it on the front, if, if it managed to hook on, it does tend to go left or right. Um, but anyway, as always, hope you found that interesting. Um, I mean, I think it must be about the third time I've tr flown this drone. I mean, I, I, I do love this drone. I mean, for a, it's a bit noisy. That's the only bugbear, I think. It's a bit noisy. And sorry about the noise. I think there's a party going on. There's a beach just over there. And I think there's a party going on. It's Sunday night. <laughs> Enjoying themselves. Anyway, as always, guys, I hope you found it interesting. Give it a thumbs up if you did. The dog's saying no. Give it a thumbs down. And as always, enjoy flying. And it would be interesting to know how many of you guys out there have still got the Mavic Air and still loving that type of drone. <laughs>